Hey everybody, it's Brian, and I would love to make a video on Qt6, but I have not had a whole lot of luck getting this thing running. So just for giggles here, here are the kits that I currently have installed. I have 5.12.3, 5.15.0, this 5.15 web assembly, which I've actually never used. And then I built a static, building static is not for the faint of heart. I did that for the Udemy series. All right, so, I've run into a whole boatload of problems on my Mac. We're going to try this on my Linux machine and see what happens here. So let's run the maintenance tool. And they've got a snazzy new maintenance tool. Spoiler alert, I have done some work before I got to this point. I actually went out and I updated the maintenance tool and made sure everything's good. I want to do this real time on the screen. Also, I had to actually go out and rebuild CMake because when I tried this initially, it was complaining that, hey, CMake was out of date. So I had to actually download, compile, build, and install the newest version of CMake just to get to this point. All right, no updates available. We are good to go. So I'm going to quit the maintenance tool, give it a second to figure out what it's doing, and then start it. All right, now I don't want to get super crazy with this, but we're going to go add, remove components, next. Definitely hats off to the developer who made this look super awesome because it looks way better than it used to. And I'm going to expand this out a bit, see if I can get it in the whole recording area here. All right, so Qt6 is out as of today. I have absolutely nothing Qt6 related installed. We're going to just check desktop GCC 64-bit. I am on Linux Mint 64-bit. And just for giggles here. There it is. All right, so uh, LDD Ubuntu glibc 2.7. This is going to come back and haunt us if it's going to do the same thing that it did previous. But I'm on Linux Mint, and let's go ahead and just... Desktop GCC 64 bit next. Setup's now ready to update. Show the details here. And let's just, you know, what do you guys want to talk about? I like my, my coffee a lot like I like my soul black. No sugar, no cream, just completely black and dark. Nothing but misery and pain here in compiler land. And oh, it's actually gotten further this time. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, error during installation process of Qt, Qt 6, 6.0, GCC 64-bit. The output is, da 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 I'm going to grab this, copy this. So I've already filed a bug report. I'm not expecting a whole lot back, to be brutally honest, but I'm going to copy this. Let's just open a command line here. Unable to parse. I wonder why. Let's go ahead and paste. Uh-oh glibc 2.8 ooh, ooh, that's not good so i am the first to admit i am not a linux expert but if i go ldd version and you can see that it's looking for 2.8 and i am running 2.7 i am now presented with some options as the end user of the software meaning i can now go out and either completely upgrade to a different operating system or i can try to manually update that which from what i've read on different forums could completely smoke this box because it's so integrated into everything here so mm, big letdown i would love to say that i was just going to start rocketing out cute six tutorials and i do want to re-record everything but what i'm probably going to end up doing is closing these canceling this watch it roll back and then we're just going to finish and I'm going to restart this. And not in this video, because it's just going to take an obnoxiously long time. But what I'm probably going to do now is download the source code and then I will build this manually on my box and see if it links correctly to the version that I have and see if that fixes the problem. But uh, major letdown. Uh, cute. I love you guys. But man, my... My Mac won't even run it. I mean, I've tried just about everything. So I'm just going to go to sources. We're going to download those. And that's going to take 500 megs. And let's go ahead and update. So 
I'm going to try and build this and see if I can get a successful build out of Qt6. And from there, maybe, maybe, maybe we've been waiting a long time. We'll get some Qt6 tutorials. I've been reading a lot of the change logs and I'm super excited to see what's happening under the hood. Um, the irony here is I did not have any of these problems in beta. Beta for Qt6 was just fine. I mean, it was so smooth. It, you do download it, you compile it, you build it, whatever you wanted to do. It just worked. But for some reason, this release has not gone smooth for me. I've got uh, four different boxes, each one with different operating systems, and none of them run Qt6 out of the box. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for the letdown. I will try to build this on my box, and we'll see what happens.